Hi everyone, welcome back to Wesner's Tech News and Reviews. Today we've got a heart rate accuracy test between the all new Fitbit Charge 5, which we've got right here. And its contender today is the Samsung Galaxy Watch Active 2. So this is an accuracy test that I did during a game of tennis. Well, actually a training session with my coach. So that training session took us an hour and the benchmark for the test was actually the Polar H10 ECG chest strap. Without further ado, let's get into the results. If you are new to Wesno's tech news and reviews, we talk about the latest tech news. We do brutally honest reviews and share hacks and tricks along the way. So first of all, let's do a quick introduction to the two contenders. So we've got the Fitbit Charge 5. So finally, a Google's Fitbit watch, which does have an AMOLED display because we do recall Charge 3, Charge 4, same rectangular sort of shape, but they were black and white. Now it's full color, it's bright, and it's just a bit more, well, just like any other hybrid smartwatch or a very advanced fitness tracker on the market. It's got quite a few features, 20 sport modes, five of them are auto-detected, it's got inbuilt GPS, it doesn't have any music storage, no music controls, that's a bit of a letdown. It also doesn't have any physical buttons on it. So the only letdown as I see there is that you have to actually swivel through and tap through to the screen you actually wanna see. That's a bit of a letdown, but it is very advanced. In fact, it's got two features which will be coming slightly later, and that is an ECG monitor as well as an EDA monitor. Currently, it's got three sleep stages, it's got continuous SpO2, and when you do get the Charge 5, you get six months of the Fitbit Premium subscription absolutely free. So there we go, that's the Charge 5 in a nutshell. Now let's talk about the Samsung Galaxy Watch Active. Now, I know that this smartwatch has been around for quite a bit now, about 18 months or so since it was released. And nonetheless, it is my favorite ultimate Samsung Galaxy Watch. Simply because it looks great, I love the seamless round design. The two buttons on the side, they're just so well integrated into the whole watch. They're not protruding, they look great. The straps are mega comfortable. In fact, the two straps on the two watches are very similar because you do get the tuck and clip clasp on both. Now with the Samsung Galaxy Watch Active, 1.39 inch AMOLED display. Both actually have a great resolution of 326 PPI. So that means that basically in any light conditions, you can always clearly see what is written on the watch. But with the round face of the Samsung, it's much bigger. It's, it just looks better. You can read more text on it and you can see more metrics on it. And because there are two physical buttons, you can actually get to your desired screen much quicker and much more effectively. Anyways, that's about it in regards to a summer review. Now let's get into the results. So as I mentioned, the actual test was performed on the tennis court for about an hour. I was hitting it out with my coach and I've had the chest wrap on as well as the two smartwatches, one on my left and one on my right wrist. Anyways, first of all, let's take a look at the results of the benchmark, and that's the Polar H10 ECG chest strap. Once we take a look at that, we'll then compare the Fitbit and the Samsung versus the benchmark. Let's do it. Okay, so a one hour session on the court, it does get quite intense. And we can actually see that in the results. The Polar H10 has shown us that the average heart rate was registered at 138 beats per minute. That is quite high. Now, in regards to the max, the max or the peak heart rate was actually registered at 178 beats per minute. That is quite up there. Now let's take a look at the Fitbit Charge 5 results and then we'll take a look at the Samsung. So let's start off with the Fitbit Charge 5. So double tap on the screen, make it alive, and let's take a look at what the Charge 5 actually shows us. So we can see that the average heart rate on the Charge 5 was registered at 139 beats per minute. Wow, that's astounding. That is really sharp. That's only one beat per minute overstatement from the benchmark from the Polar H10 ECG chest strap. That's very good. Now let's take a look at the max. Now the max is 170 beats per minute. Also quite sharp, 
but it is an understatement of eight beats per minute or five or so percent, just over 5% understatement. Now that's not major, but still it's there. So we can see that the peaks are not as well traced as what we see from the actual chest strap. Now let's take a look at the Samsung results before we can judge which of these watches has a better optical heart rate sensor on the back of them. Let's do it. And now let's look to our Samsung Galaxy Watch Active 2. Just a point of mention, if you actually look on the back of this thing, you can see that the optical heart rate sensor is not sitting in a plastic place as we're usually well used to with all the other smartwatches. This is very similar to an Apple Watch. It's actually sitting in a little ceramic plate and that does make it look premium and maybe it even improves the results or not let's take a look at the results now so we can see that the average heart rate was measured at 132 beats per minute well the Fitbit did a better job because 132 means that there is an understatement of 6 beats per minute from the Polar H10 ECG chest strap while the max was registered at 171 beats per minute. That is still an understatement from the Polar H10 ECG chest strap by seven beats per minute. So just about 4% understatement. So it's a slightly better result than on the Charge 5, but the average is way worse than we see on the Charge 5. Okay, so summary view, both watches failed to actually register the peak heart rate because the Polar H10 has picked up 178 beats per minute while the Samsung only got 171 and the Charge 5 even further away at 170 beats per minute. If we talk about the average, so on the Polar H10 we see 138 beats per minute, on the Samsung it's 132 which is quite a way off while on the Charge 5 139 beats per minute. That's just one beat Per minute off and if you think about it I think that's very sharp now I can I think explain because what we did notice over all these tests all these accuracy tests which we've been doing on the channel is that when a watch is rather large and the Samsung Galaxy watch active is a large watch it's a 44 millimeter case so it is quite large now think about it when you're running and you've got this whole piece sitting on top of your wrist because of its weight it will be shifting around a bit more than a slimline tracker or hybrid smartwatch as we see the charge 5 which has a slimmer design and is sitting firmly and it weighs less than the actual watch so it doesn't move around as much on top of your wrist well that's what i think anyway so there we go these are the results nonetheless i can say that the active has shown itself to be a great contender it did its job but it's just not as sharp as the charge 5. anyways thank you for watching this review and accuracy test if you did enjoy it please drop me a like and if you want to see more of the same you know what to do please hit the red subscribe button below the video and i'll see you in the next one